This episode of The General's Gentleman is sponsored by Offworld Trading Company, a truly innovative RTS focused on market manipulation, advanced economic management, and corporate sabotage. Profit from the life support needs of the colonists and bankrupt your friends in the process. Welcome to The General's Gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Command and Conquer Zero Hour. Today we are going to be branching out to a very different type of map. We're really curious to see how the players can adapt to their strategies and uh, how, how flexible they are in terms of their players. Yeah, for sure. It is it is definitely a big switch up. Uh, we are on competition winter today, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we, we, we like to mix things up here at the uh, General Gentleman HQ. Like, we just get so sick of casting Tournament Desert every yeah. game. You know, it's so repetitive. Uh, it's really nice to have that map variety. So today we're going to have a China Mirror, which we're always happy about. At the north, spawning as our yellow China Nuke, we have Pablo Escobar. His opponent for today will be also a China, a red version of China, will be Boyka. Yep, he's going to be the China Tank. Mm. Tank versus Nuke, a very interesting matchup. One of my favorites. Ooh. Barracks. Nice. Does he Does he want to go for a Helix? But he has a, he has a War Factory. I, we have seen that baller. We have seen that baller build where you go all three. You go factory barracks, uh, airfield, and it works out. But I think we'll see. Yeah, oh, wow. it's going to be bunker defense. That's because cool. you're versing a China tank, so they're not going to really attack you, apart from you know dragon the, the, yeah the old yeah. dragon tank. Yeah. But um, I thought it was going to be for helix. And maybe he'll go for the helix transition because you already have five tank uh, tank busters, mm. and the. Tank Hunters. Tank Busters, of course, being Red Alert 3. And, and the bunker's only 500. So it... Oh! Oh, oh okay. 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 Wow. We didn't realize this was on Competition Winter. That's a bit different. Okay. Wow. I I like this. Okay. Bigger switch up than we thought, yeah. as it turns out. Okay. He's going right. to lose this battle, this uh, dozer, though. Wow, he almost didn't kill it. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually really interesting. Okay, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna switch a few things up. How many supplies are there all up? I mean, can we check or are they bugged out? Oh, uh... Can, can we hover? We'll tail through their armor. So that's like just under twelve thousand. Yeah, just under twelve thousand. Which, for comparison, up, so. forty thousand ish, twenty thousand ish. But a much so much that's... much safer supply. So. Yeah, it's pretty much the equivalent of that. That's okay. Cool. Nice micro there. Doesn't get uh, the TNT off either. That Boyka starting to expand through the, the center of the map, taking control, garrison control, which is something Pablo Escobar has given up in order to go triple supply. Is it just me or is this wider? It is wider, yeah. Okay, I'm not going crazy. So is the middle, I mean, but yeah. So we have a, a quick prop center here from Pablo. Boyka doesn't even have his his corner supplies. No, just on two wall factory. I hope he realizes because we didn't realize there was three yeah, supplies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he would. I mean, playing the map, I mean, you you would guess he would, but he doesn't know that uh, Pablo Escobar has taken three supplies. That's the other thing you got to consider. Really good micro here. Focuses the tank hunters down. Focuses the dragon tank. And uh, keeps his, his battle master alive. Gatling tank still there as well. That was just beautiful play from Boyka. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, very, very cool. With that being said, I mean, Pablo Escobar here has been uh, throwing down some mad uh, battle master detonates. Uh, solid defense coming out from him, and he's still hasn't revealed this third supply either. Uh, yeah, oh, that's I, why. I, I would say that yeah, another forward supply, double forward supply here from Boyka. So Boyka can can guess that there are three supplies on the map, given the the lack of aggression, the lack of dragon tanks on the flanks. Uh, it'd be a safe assumption to to predict three supplies. So Boyka going for a couple of his own. Yeah. So he has a nuke overlord. Just needs one more battle master there for that horde bonus, and then uh, when that happens, those tank battle masters should be able to fight pretty. Effectively head up it. Nice work of the ECM disable as well. Very good fight so far from Pablo Escobar. Wow, that throws away a pretty big army. It's rare that we. <laughs> you don't get to see Overlord crashes very often, but uh, we see them there. Well played by Pablo. Vet 2 already. Mm. Jeez, you get so much veterancy 
when you destroy other veteran units. That's why he's already at vet two. This bunker is uh, it's actually empty. No, well, one man pretty much is empty. This nuke overlord could do a lot more damage here, but he will have the prop center. The black lotus is going to be essential. Certainly will be. Uh, overlords are fantastic, and combining with the ECM is a really good choice. Not only do you get the rocket deflection, uh, you often underestimate the the potency of just shutting down an individual unit. Uh, it kind of forces engagements. You're you're losing a unit. Um, if you want to back away, every time you try and back away, you lose a unit. Given the Overlord's ridiculous range and the fact the ECM uh, finds quite quick shutdowns on these kind of base units, this Lotus could get a cap on the War Factory in the supply. No detection here on the side, and the Dragon Tank looking for some targets. The thing is with going for the middle supply though is is you can always backwards expand. Mm. So if you mine aggressively forward, you deplete your middle supplies. Well, it's fine. You still have your back supplies. Whereas Pablo is going to mine through this pretty quickly. Yeah. Trucks are working their way through it quite quickly. We do see a new cannon on the field. Pablo, that's going to be an excellent way to break this camp. Yeah, he's going to need probably air units here. MiGs, Helixes. Battlemaster is very slow. And, and just tank in general, there isn't any fast units. You have to use air units. Or maybe an outpost flank if you get a good angle. But other than that... Oh! <laughs> There's no supply! I've never seen anyone get wrecked harder than that in my life! Oh, uh, wow. Pablo needs to install, that's disappointing. See, I, I, I like how China doesn't get free vision, though. Like, if it was a USA, you know, you, you would you would never see USA waste yeah. an A-10 like that, yeah. because they just have the spy drones and the scans and stuff. Man, that is fantastic. He didn't, oh, he didn't even he just didn't have a supply there to begin no, with. Boyka has four supplies and Pablo manages to find the one spot where <laughs> Boyka doesn't have a supply. Yeah. I gotta, you gotta love it. You really do. Okay, oh, Lotus, Lotus is gonna die yeah, here. Yeah, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Has actually re-stealthed. Yeah. But it hasn't radiation. moved from the radiation. The you should attack round. Yeah, didn't, didn't re-target that one in time. Oh, no. Oh, what are you doing, Boyka? Actually, it works, though. But only, well, sort of. I mean, the, the other down, one... Yeah. yeah, the other one is no longer disabled. I, mean, I, I always get so triggered thinking of the antonym of shut down. The Overlord is like no longer, like, yeah. you know, the Overlord gets. Yeah, what, I'm trying what, to think what of is, something, what is the Overlord something clean. Get? I can't think of anything clean. The Overlord so. is no longer disabled. It's probably the best uh, you can do. Yeah, the, the Overlords are going to be disabled by this Helix, <laughs> however. Uh, lots of rockets. The splitting ain't gonna help you. It is chock-a-block with, uh, Tank Hunters, and it's an excellent comeback by Boyka. You Fantastic unit composition. We see the new cannon go down as well. There's no anti-air. This is crushing. Wow. Man, new cannons are actually really bad against buildings. Yeah, they're not great. But that was a pretty big, I think, compositional. Oh, man, even a nuke silo. Whew. Is he looking for, for nuke migs? Oh, no, one of the helixes went down. Yeah, nice work. I don't know if that was a bunk helix or not. He needs to evac here and destroy this nuke silo. Oh, Dozer goes down. Evac, evac, evac. There's actually a CC. Yeah, he definitely should evac here. Because there's... Uh, I guess he can get the trucks, but there's no there's no supplies left anyway. Nothing really okay. important on this under map of rule. Oh, there yeah, we go. Okay, there's the evac. I suppose if he evac there, he, the Gats would have just picked off those tank yeah. hunters pretty quickly. Maybe but here he gets a, a, a uh, barracks first. Oh, Red Guard, nice. Because they're actually vetted and they have the, the horde bonus, so they're actually pretty effective. Yeah. Man, I just love seeing infantry... Rifle infantry actually play a role in the counter system. Yeah, it's awesome. Because they never do. So rare. They, yeah, they're, they're, the movement speed, their range. Like, they could be slightly faster than rocket troops because they're carrying a rocket launcher as opposed to a rifle. This helix could actually get out of there as well. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for the bunkers. I love this position. Yeah, I can't even... It's pretty cool. oh, it is. I got it. You, you only know by a minimap, and uh, pros, don't play, pros don't play with radar, though. Uh, Pablo Escobar does have his now. Well, you can actually hear it, the... the, the yeah. Blades are rotating. Also, the ultimate counter to, to Lotus cash deals is not floating. As we saw there, the 535 cash deal uh, coming in for Pablo Escobar. Now, that was really clever because a lot of times it's it's a question of do I go for the steal or do I go for the, 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 the cap to try and force a sell? But this is empty. There are no supplies left. So your opponent's going to sell anyway, so you're not really achieving anything by forcing them to sell. Oh, nice work there, Helix, and the Gatling gets the, the Lotus. Plenty. Stealth detection already available. Wow. Missile, four minutes. 
Dropping the Battle Masters, he's, he's actually going for the Command Center. Um, Command Center takes a long time to focus down. It is a very tough building. He doesn't have autoloaders either, so really no way he can get the snipe. Yeah, this won't work here. The Overlord should clean up. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. It's taking a lot of splash damage here. It's kind of uh, unnecessary, but it's it's so swaggy using an Overlord to crush. He actually misclicked it though. Well, he didn't he didn't complete the crush. It's kind of hard to do actually. You have to really stay on it. Yeah, the Scout Licks are still alive as well. <laughs> Scout Licks. Yeah. Did you just invent a new thing? I totally did. Okay, I bet you there's, a, there's there, a tank yeah, hunter. You can here. tell. You can tell. Oh man. Well. Oh. What? Make room is that gonna actually bomb. work? I swear if this oh kills my it. God. I swear if this kills a proper center in one shot. Uninstall. Uh, if he had black napalm, it would have done. Uninstall the he game. He should have got black napalm just for the swag point. Yeah. That would have been so good if he got that. He also had a little bit of extra damage considering he the um, crashed. Yeah, the crash. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, he may finish it off here with that bunker helix. Yeah, bunker helix is getting a lot of damage down. Uh, both of these power plants should fill. That's going to put the nuke missile on cooldown and something that Worker won't have to worry about. Who's playing an insane game? Worker's playing nuts. Double power plant. And yet he still has power for the nuke missile. Yeah. Artie Strike Mark II will actually. Oh, uh, he has one now yeah. though. <laughs> oh, you know, goes the airfield now. Airfield and barracks. Okay. So, uh, slow down the helix production. Lotus capped that one. Both oils in the hands of Boyka. And Boyka's looking good. He took did a lot of damage there. Still mining from the middle. Still mining from his back supplies. And the Lotus actually survived. Go back inside the barracks to heal up. Those are repairing the prop center. I really like this. After it's kind of neglected healing your buildings, but it's so important to survive the next round of uh, of support powers, of general's powers. Uh, having fully repaired buildings is very important. Whoa, nuke migs. Nuke migs. Okay, this changes things. <laughs> this is a, a game changer. Nuke migs very powerful. So one minute fifty on this nuke missile, it's going to force a response from Boyka. Nickwigs aren't amazing at dealing with helixes, but they certainly will contribute if there are a few cats on the ground. Yeah, you, you get weed stuff as well, where like, the mix can actually blow themselves up. Okay, that was an EMP. Slow down support powers. Yeah, maybe hoping to get a lucky tag on the helixes as well and, and uh, crash them out of the sky. What would be really good for Boyka if he can get tank hunters inside of these buildings? Yeah. But Pablo has control of those garrisons. Ah. Uh -huh. No carpet bomb onto the. Oh, I guess the dozer actually. That's pretty good. Was that a prop center or? Was that, that was an airfield. Uh, was an airfield, right? Okay. I think. I didn't really see it. He, he could have before with the arty strike. Hmm. Yeah. Keeping the heal at scant down. I mean, it, it makes sense. You got to uh, avoid. To ex General, avoid sorry expanding your your current counter system. That makes sense. You well, don't want to have your opponent to have so many of your units that you can't counter yet. Yeah, tried. attacking Gats head on. I guess the, the MiGs are just not that expensive. And the thing is with the Helixes is you can just fly over to the airfield. Okay, this is actually a Lotus cap. There's another airfield. And the Lotus is gunned down. Uh, airfield gets sold off, but another airfield currently in construction, 35%. Not a problem for Pablo, and the nuke missile will be available soon. Where are the key targets? What, what are we looking at here? I the mean, nuke silo? Uh, I don't know, the man. Nuke missile. Yeah, yeah, nuke missile. Yeah, quite, a, quite, a, quite a spread out base for, for Boyka. I mean, probably the, the best you can hope for is, yeah, that supply in the, the war factory or, or some more production. Taking out production wouldn't be a bad move. Another battle master drop inside the base of Pablo Escobar as well, and there's the nuke missile being fired. Yeah, too late to really do much. Getting the supply would be nice. And the Helix is a little bit late to join the fight. And yeah, there it is, the factory and the yeah. supply. As good as any place. Uh, I, I can't think of a better location than that. Uh, otherwise, Helix is going in, get the oil derrick down. The supply actually was, was, was sniped, but there's no supplies left. So, wow, Pablo's actually out of cash. Boyka has actually a, a fair bit remaining. I suppose as a positive, does he have a supply left or any trucks or anything like that? I Pablo? Mean, yeah, Pablo. It's like he, he has some trucks there. He kind of, it's almost worth rebuilding a supply in the middle. He kind of needs to. There are still some supplies there. Uh, 
Moika didn't mine out the uh, mine out Pablo's side, so potentially you know putting some forward pressure on, maintaining control over the middle thanks to the tank hunters inside of the garrisons is the best way to play. Yeah, this army's pretty small for Boyka, but he still has all his helixes. Wow, nasty AOE damage there with that nuke mig. Three, he oh he's, he's going in. There's actually one helix back at base, but there's just so much damage from the double bunker licks. One of them will be shot out of the sky, but. There's no anti-air left, apart from these MiGs. Yeah, the rest of the army is going to be decimated. Double Bunker Licks, sorry, Bunker Licks Prop Licks remains in the air. This MiG isn't really going to do much. It does about half the damage. Yeah. But it can just repair itself. shot down, so... Yeah, the thing is, is the Helixes will actually return fire. So you have to be pretty sure that it's worth it. Control of the oils will be very important here. Yeah, it's one seal. We'd actually see a forward... Supply. It's going to be worth. I mean, th those trucks need to be busy. Top center goes down again. Trucks are going to be denied. Just slowing down Boyka's income bit by bit. Oh, cash deal. Cash deal would be amazing. Yeah, he uh, needs this. Maybe actually build some hackers if, if he wants to go down that route. I have many bullets to spare. Just wait for the Lotuses to pass. They have. This is the ideal moment for a cash deal. Artie strike on the war factory. Mm. Yeah, Boyka's losing a lot of his base. Doesn't have much infrastructure yeah. left. Lotus not quite in position to reveal the other Lotus. Oh, he heard it! He heard it! Boyka heard it! Wow. He's gonna get one off. No, it actually cancelled it. it! Wow, very good reflexes there from Boyka. Move the Gatling in position the moment he heard the Lotus. That was nice. Working off audio cues yeah. like that are very difficult. He must have been in the in the right place at the right time. Um, Zero works on screen, doesn't it, when it comes to audio cues? I don't know. That's pretty much it. Yeah, not, I don't know. Not quite on screen, but like, yeah, I don't think but, you have No, like, no, no, because you, you can hear sneak attack. That's true, yeah. I'm pretty maybe sure not, you yeah. hear Rebel Ambush. Uh, there's a few things that, that have sounds. Maybe the Lotus is one as well. Hmm. So working off our audio cue is very cool, and the oil's actually capped back in the favour of Boyka. Uh, probably he's going to have to deal with that. Whether he just keeps going for these production structures, I'm not sure. What does he have inside of his base? I mean, what are we talking about in terms of army supply here? Still a fair few buildings. Are you worth selling off some stuff? I'm not sure. He's still mining. He's getting the middle. Has a lot of Gatlings there, so the Helix has to be a little bit careful. Especially with the tank hunters in those right. buildings, but it's nice pick off. This would be the time to go in with the nuke migs, though. That's going to be a snipe with a nuke mig. I guarantee there'll be a nuke mig coming in 100%, here. 100%. I thought guarantee. Yeah. 100%. Oh, nice Gatling position. He's still probably going to get the shots Ooh. off. Oh, that was incredible. Nice, Boyka. That garrison's actually blown up, too. Very, very well played. Boyka is playing amazing zero hour right now. <laughs> this is insane. Still has this oil. Might be worth just getting a Gatling cannon there to prevent, or even a Gatling helix. There's something to prevent the Lotus from mm. capping it. Nuke missiles also going to be coming up soon, but there really are a lack of key targets. Boyka's remaining base is quite spread out. MP, again, delaying support powers. Oh, okay, airfield goes down. Drop some more battle masters. And those onto the nuke missile. Yeah, those are very important as the economy gets quite low. Instead, goes for the command center. That's the best choice. I mean... But can he get it? The helix is out of position. He needs to combo this. The battle masters with the helixes. That's what he hasn't been doing so far. Double crush? Ah. Uh, Shoot! He got one of them. Last micro by Pablo actually dukes with the uh, the tank hunters. He's it's, not, it's not gonna die. Yeah, he's not moving his battle masters either. And the is actually repairing the command center. So good recovery there from Pablo. I think Boyka just misplayed that by, by not comboing that with his helix push. Two of the guys get shut down, probably means the helix cleanup crew is going to go in indeed. Nice, all these guys are going to be sniped down and that could be GG. Yeah, looks like it. Pablo didn't actually get the oil with that carpet bomb, which is surprising. Selling off the supply, the Lotus is still there. All these garrisons are going to be cleaned up. Fly trucks are starting to evacuate. That's an excellent push with the helixes. The mine drop doesn't work against helixes very well. Now 
They actually uh, carry inbuilt detectors in the helixes so they don't run over any mines. It's quite cool. Oh, fires the nuke yeah, missile. Yeah, nuke missile gets fired. Oh, it's oh not going to matter though. Yeah. It's it's probably going to land here on the barracks of the power. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say if he if he nukes the helixes, will he actually destroy them? He probably uh, would. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like that would that would give, probably give him more of a chance than if he actually went for the 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 base. But I suppose he still has this lotus light running around. Can you imagine trying to hit these helixes though? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, but 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 if he, if he actually landed it say say here or like earlier before, yeah. and he actually wiped the lotus and the helixes, he probably would have taken this game because there was no mining left. He wasn't gonna kill this base. Um, and the CC goes down. That should be GG. Yeah. Units on the uh, right hand side. These bunkers need to be evacuated and moved. There needs to be something chasing these helixes. Actually, one of them might go down. No, it survives. Ugh. Very good positioning of the helixes, spreading them out so the weak one is always in the, the rear, like we have here, for example. Oh, uh, Blokers should just be able to clean GG. up the game. GG. Wow. What a nice game. Yeah, it was cool. Um, Boy could play nut zero out there though. Yeah, uh, that was one of his best games for fa sure. Fair play to Pablo for actually sticking in that because I, I yeah, that was next level Boyka. Yeah. Um, that was very, that would have been very, very hard to deal with. I can imagine. I mean, the last EMP really threw it. There were four, there were five gats on the field. That would have been enough to deal with yeah. the helixes, and then the EMP shut down two of them and was like, ah, oh, well, that's GG. Yeah. Unfortunate. Man, I was I finished my Dawn of War 3 review lately and I was I was thinking uh, talking about how it didn't implement hero units very well. And I was thinking how even Zero Hour has hero units. You have your Lotus, you have your Jarman, Burton, and those are you know, they're hero units, right? Yeah. You have strong yeah, attacks, sure. you have abilities. And the thing is with 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 the Zero Hour commandos is, is they have very specific counters and they have a pretty hefty cost. So they're actually very well balanced, despite being a single unit. Um, and it's, yeah, it, it's, it, it really it makes you appreciate Zero Hours that like the, the hero units are actually very interesting and actually are a part of the counter system. Yeah. It's, it's kind of how you counter overlords, uh, at least for mm -hmm. China and for, for GLA. USA have laser locks, so it's not quite as, as necessary. So yeah, thanks for watching. That was a great game. We will be returning with more Zero Hour as always. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Cheers, guys.